Why, hello there. What's this? Does Fox have a new suit of armor? Look how awesome I look. I mean, it's kind of got like jagged pieces and it's very awesome. No, let's just stick with it. Yes, it's your host, the Viking, get good, Fox. Hello, fellow Vikings who are definitely not dead. And I'm here for another episode. What we have found is, well, I went over, here's the main island, and I went in this direction and look what I found. Spooky trees. Spooky trees are a sure sign that there's a spooky swamp nearby. So that means I'm going to probably, and I learned a new trick, overboard! Come to a complete halt. What a strange mechanic. But you know who won't complain? Me. I won't complain at all. Oh, we have a new food item too. We, we, I used all of that iron to make upgrades and now we have more things. Um, I'm probably going to need to get a little closer, but for now I'm probably not. I don't want the ship to get beached. That happens really frequently. And I'm going to try to make sure that doesn't happen. Also, I need stuff from the boat. I, I'll show you what we built at the base at some point in time. It, it'll happen. So I just need like two of these. And I need ten of these. I, I'm keeping the supplies in here just so I can always build portals. Because, you know, that's been a problem. And then I need like twenty of these. Good. Okay. Now, we can actually build the thing. Who Into the water! And hopefully we don't drown before we get there. I don't think we will, though. I think we will be fine. Up we go. I said up. Good. Okay. Now to build... Now to build our camp. Right, I mean, right here is as good as any. And, um... Portal. Right here. Uh, right here is as good as any location. Home! It works, right? Yes, let's make sure it all works. I kind of don't like that I have to jump in. Oh, well, I guess I can show you what... We added some... Th well, we added a thing. Well, we added... Yeah, oh, we did a thing. What did we do? Well, we have this thing here. Look at this. It's, um... Some kind of, a uh, Organic wind chime. And uh, it uses the power of the wind chime to make our, our cauldron better. And now we can make black soup. Mmm. Oh, sounds delicious. Can't wait to dig into that. Sausages. Uh, they're made out of boar meat and, well, the entrails of, um, Draugr. Mmm. Delicious sounding. How about a muck shake? Uh, it's made out of ooze, raspberries, and blueberries. Also, um... I, I, I can't wait to dig in, and then there's turnip stew, and, and that's how we got these. We, we have turnips. We need more boar meat. Uh, apparently, boar meat maintains its usefulness. And so over here, we've got our boars. I'm feeding them more carrots. I'm sure they love it. Um, we've got a lot of these. Oh, let me just harvest these while I'm here. Yeah, honey. I'm gonna have to do an episode where I refill all of the things again. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a valuable thing. Because, like, those meads eat up a lot of honey. And what we're doing now is we're growing uh, seed carrots. And then in the back we're growing turnips. Pretty neat. Or at least I think it's neat. Now we can shut this. And, yeah, unfortunately we're out of iron again. Yeah, the iron is, uh, we're, we're bingo on, uh, uh, well, I guess, yeah, we're just totally out of iron. It's just, you know, I mean, I built, oh, I also built the shield. Look how, look how huge it is awesome shield and so like you know i figured that the re the thing was the problem we were having is that we were dying too easily i felt like the damage we were doing to enemies was decent but i thought the da the damage we were taking was the problem let me go ahead and can i sleep oh good we can even reset the time of day and i'll get a rested buff yeah i do i sleep in my armor what about it don't you sleep in your full suit of armor at home i sleep in my full suit of armor at home Okay, off we go. Shut the door. The only thing that sucks about sleeping is it makes the pigs eat a ton of food. And that's how I wind up running out of carrots. No matter, though. Okay. So we are going to be eating the last portion of the minced meat. 
this. Okay, so this is our new food that we're going to be using. So our goal today, now that I've shown you all the things, we're going to be charting this, you know, this swamp. And we're going to chart the swamp because, oh god. We're going to be charting this swamp because... Don't even try it. Wimpy creatures. We're charting the swamp because, well, you know, that's just the, that's just the thing we do, right? More wimperonies. Now that I have this powerful shield, your end has come. Okay, I'm stuck on something. No, you don't. Get out of here, leech. Don't know what blood bags are for still. You want to try your luck? Okay, apparently he he brought a friend. So this armor is better. I mean, I guess you would, you would hope that the iron armor is superior to the... Oh. What is with all these enemies? Good gravy. Just leave me alone. I'm just trying to, like, explore. You, you don't have a problem with that, do you? You're okay with me exploring the area. Oh yeah, so this suit of armor. Uh, each piece is 14 armor, so we've got 14, um, 28, like what, like 30, 32, 42-ish armor, or something like that. I, I'm pretty sure the math, the math isn't good enough. Use your imagination. And imagine that the math is good. Oh, thistles are always nice. Let's go ahead and mark thistles. Like I said, so our goal is to chart this area. And in particular, we're trying to reveal all of the terrain and mark any locations where there might be crypts. Because the crypts contain the iron, and the iron is the key to my salvation, or my progress. Oh, the progress is my salvation, so it's both. Get squished! Okay. Hopefully this is a decent-sized swamp. If not, well... Crap. Crap. But I'm gonna have faith that we've found at least a swamp of similar size to the previous one. That would be nice. Thought I heard something. Some of that must just be ambience. Right now we're just exploring, like, the outskirts. Oh, I got a leech after me. No, you don't. You're gonna try to bite my butt? Nope, too fast. These weird glowing trees remind me of Halo. In the original Halo, there was like this weird swamp that you'd go through. And it had like weird glowing green trees, just like these. And I guess there's a bunch of weird monsters who are trying to bite my butt, just like Halo. So maybe we're actually playing Halo. And I didn't notice it. It's a possibility. Have you ever considered that? So far, so good. Our first goal is to basically scout the outskirts. Thistle, I'll mark it. Ah. We need, we actually need a lot of intestines in order to like, make the, the sausages. It uses like four intestines per batch of sausage. But the good news is that you produce four sausages at a time. I'm still thinking, you know, does that technically mean we're a, a cannibal? Because we're eating the intestinal guts of, of human zombies. Food for thought. Just as you food your cannibalism or something. Use your imagination and pretend I said something like witty and clever there too. Today we're using our imagination Although it is wet and damp, the fact that I have my rested bonus is going to be helping us keep our stamina up. It kind of helps, it, or at least to some extent, counters the, the constant wetness, because the wetness, I'm pretty sure, also reduces our stamina regeneration. Now this armor is, I guess I didn't talk about it, the, the armor is two armor factors stronger than the bronze armor. The bronze armor it was upgraded, I believe, to level 3, and at level 3 it was providing 12 armor, so pretty solid. Like, this is an upgrade over it, 
But the main thing is that it should be pretty easy to upgrade it further, whereas the bronze armor seems like it would be a problem. Okay. So far, so good. I have a good feeling about this. Like, we're, we are, the, the perimeter of this area seems pretty large, which is exactly what I was hoping for. It gives me the, gives me uh, an amount of confidence that this is going to be a very large swamp. Or maybe not a very large swamp, but, you know, it's not a swamp that wastes our time, in other words. Aha, your, your weapons are useless against me. I am invincible now. Like the bullets just re reflected by my gleaming iron armor that is definitely not going to get super rusty over in all this water. Not going... Oh! Leech! Still haven't found a use for those blood bags, but, you know, just give it a moment. I'm sure we'll find a use for it eventually. Ah. More Draugr. Do you wish to suffer? Because I, I have suffering. Suffering is in good supply. Oh, he m made me miss. Give me your guts. We cannibals now. Oh, I let my guard down. You won't even get the chance. Boom, walked right into it. I actually really like that power attack. Another leech. Easily squished. The... I'll, I'm not gonna lie. The swamp makes a lot of weird noises. And the reason it's kind of annoying is because, you know, you use your ears in this game a good bit. Like, you actually use your ears to hear what's going on around you. And, like, my ears are constantly filled with, like... <laughs> weird noises like that and it's like I keep thinking there's a villain nearby only to realize there's nothing near at all you thought you were a threat but then I squished you you wish to face me look how big my shield is you weakly you see what I mean? Like, I feel like our weapons are doing pretty good. I'm not saying that I- I'm not saying I wouldn't use iron weapons if I had it. But I feel like our weapons are doing pretty good. Like, yeah, sure, it can be a problem against the higher level enemies, like the one-star enemies. That can certainly be the case. But against, like, these common enemies, I think that our current bronze weapons... It's probably because I did upgrade them a decent bit, like, you know, we were decently prepared. Ah, the blob. Boom! And then he gave me the Wusham a poison. That's fine, a little bit of poison doesn't hurt us. I'm not gonna use a poison potion for just a small amount of poison. Okay, so it looks like this is the end of the swamp. Uh, it looks like a beginning of a... a um, Meadow is here. Let's keep revealing specifically the swamp. Hopefully we can find the... Uh, once we get the outskirts of it, we can check the interior and search for any crypts that might be in the area. Seems like the, uh, the crypt grind for iron is a little bit more intense than the... Uh, the sunken crypt grind for iron seems to be a bit more intense than the uh, regular crypt grind for the certling cores. I see someone over there who wishes to be squished. Indeed. Oh, I thought I'd squish him in time. You wish to try your luck? I missed. And that means he's gonna... Oh, we got him without getting spadoodered. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Oh, I'm probably going to get my butt, butt bit by a leech. Yeah, a little bit of poison is okay. We can handle a small amount of poison. Yeah, a little bit of poison here and there. It just builds your immune system. It just makes me stronger. Too much poison, though, is not good. 
all we gotta do. Oh, out of stamina. And now our rested effect is gonna end, which means we're gonna be going even slower. I think we're making okay progress, though. Actually, no, I think we're making good progress. I'm, I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Music is more peaceful, which, and I think that's because I'm at the edge of the swamp. Here are some more turnip seeds. I'll take them. Once we make a loop around, we can take a look at the map and see what exactly we're looking at in this swamp. I don't feel rested anymore. Well, poop. Okay, that was definitely a neck. I wish the sun stayed like this. I mean, I get it. It's a dank swamp, so it's like... It's not supposed to be all, like, clear and whatnot, but still. Now, I'm told that, um... One of the items I'm gonna need more of are chains. I've been using chains for a few of those structures we've built. And apparently, we've, if we'd fight those, like, spooky guys at night, we can get more chains. But the spooky guys only appear at night. I guess that's fine. You sure need a lot of stuff in this game. Wow. This swamp is going on. I feel like I... Oh, there's a sortling spawner over there. The land here is a lot more shallow, meaning it'll be a lot easier to... Oh, here's some guys who need to be squished. I guess we're technically farming some... Entrails as well. No, you don't. Ha-ha! Boom! Yeah, I mean, I mean we, gotta, we, we gotta work for our food. You know, that's just the way it works. And if that means braining some, like, zombies over the head... Oh, he poisoned. Well, like I said, a little bit of poison doesn't bother me. We can handle a little bit of poison. This swamp section is really... It's got quite the stretch. It's quite the stretch of swamp. I'm wondering when we're going to hit the end of it. I was hoping to have it all scouted in one episode, but at the rate we're going, that might not happen. By the time we pass back where the camp is, we will be able to... Oh, I should have marked the camp, too. That's a mistake. Okay, finally, the swamp is curving around this direction. Shouldn't complain, though. Like, I'm glad that we found a swamp that looks to be sizable. And if it's sizable, then, then maybe we can find some... Ah! You wish to try your luck. This is the end for you. If only he had surrendered, none of this would have happened. Ah. Go for the jump. Try it. Try it. Too late! Oh, I, I think we're about to loop around. Once we get back to the kid, the uh, the portal, we'll be able to, what do you call it, um, portal back, and then we can get another rested effect. That'll make this exploration a little bit easier. Not a whole lot easier, but a little bit easier. Oh, we found ourselves a crypt. Awesome. Okay, so, I can't remember where we parked. That tends to be a problem. That's a problem I have in real life, too. I never remember where I park. I imagine it's somewhere over here. But while we're here, we're going to go ahead and just mark this as a sunken crypt. Sunken crypt. And you know what? Screw the rested bonus. I don't want to use it. Thistle. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with. It looks like we need to explore this inner area. Maybe we can, if we find one or two more crypts, I feel like that'll be pretty good. I mean, I'll take more than two, don't get me wrong, but I feel like one or two more would be a fair quantity of stuff. 
These thistles are useful as well. We need more of that. Not just for the, uh, the thistle recipe is useful for making the poison resistance potions, but apparently they're also used in food now as well. So I'm gonna, oh, there's another one. Happy to see that. Here we go, thistle. Oh, that's not one. That's a... Seems to be some kind of a spawner for probably these Draugr. Hmm, I kind of want to read what that says. Try your luck. Now meet your end. My shield is stout. This is your end. What do we have here? A runestone. Let's read it. It says, Long ago, the world of Valheim was home to a race of proud and noble people. They built great towers that touched the clouds and delved deep into the earth for precious metals. But their pride was their undoing. They challenged the very gods and went to war against the Aesir and the Vanir, destroying themselves completely. Great Odin leveled their cities, and Loki consumed their mines and fire. Mighty Thor broke down their towers, and Freya sowed their fields with salt tears. Now they are sunk. Many hundreds of years deep, no songs sing of their stories, and the earth has claimed their cities. But pride cannot be killed entirely, and the warriors who fought in that final battle will not surrender until their bodies are dust and the dust long gone. They return as Draugr, unholy walkers in ancient armor, creatures of rust and disrepair. Or, or dead despair. Break them, bury them, let them know that they are dead. Interesting. A little bit of a lore. Oh, wait. I believe we found ourselves another thistle, of course. You wish to be bones? I mean, you wish to be, like, destroyed bones? Uh, shut up. I said something awesome. Use your imagination. Squished. I bet if I get an iron mace, I'll be able to squish these guys in one hit, and that'll be pretty efficient. Okay, here's another sunken crypt. Nice. Oh! That looks like another sunken crypt over there. This place is turning out to be pretty good. Oh, I see a elite droger in there. I'm ready for you. Oh, you have more health. That's what makes you elite. But now you are dead, and I will feast on your entrails, I guess. Hmm. Normally it's the bad guys that say that. Come closer, White. Oh, it's a spawner. I see. That's a problem. I kind of don't want to fight a Draugr spawner. Oh, he survived! Yeah, I don't want to get caught. I don't want to get stuck fighting. I mean, we're, we're, you know, like, we've got things to do. I'm busy right now. We don't have time to just... Waste on these, like, Droger all day. Okay, we've got ourselves another sunken crypt here. Which is awesome. And in the distance, I believe I saw... Yeah, there's a... We need to go mark that Sertling spawner. Leave me alone. It's gonna be night as well, which is anno even more annoying. Because then I'm gonna go even slower. Because then it'll be cold and wet, and I'll be like, stamina regeneration will be a thing of the past. Ow, he shot me in the butt! Stop fleeing! You coward! Uh, 
Aha, I caught him that time. No, their archers are everywhere. Ow. They're shooting me in the butt even when I ask them not to. It's too late. Now I feast on your entrails. Good. Entrails now feasted upon. Okay, this is a certling spawner. There's got to be more stuff. I refuse to believe there is no longer any stuff. Um, we haven't explored there. So off we go. Looks like it is now officially nighttime. Which means our stamina is never coming back ever again. Maybe I should just try and make it back. That might be a good idea. I, our, our camp should be somewhere over there. Or rather, my portal should be somewhere over there. I probably should have marked it. But you know what? I didn't, because I am very smart. Thistle. And smart people don't mark where they need to backtrack to. Get away from me, blob thing. Get away from me, leeches. Get away from me, blob thing. Yeah, it must be somewhere in this area, because I, I think the thistle was the first thing we found. Oh yeah, it's cold and wet, it sucks. This is dumb. Why do I go so slow now? Why doesn't my stamina come back? Also, I probably need to eat food. Oh no, it is, it is the king of sadness himself who's come to attack me at night when I don't have stamina. You will leave me alone. I will show you my true power, which is to run away very quickly where I cannot be touched or harmed. And you will feel stupid for trying to chase me and fail. You have no hope. Make your peace. Imagine the humiliation you will suffer when you try to catch me. Okay. Yes, it must be in this direction. Skeleton, you are obsolete. Oh, stamina is also obsolete. Um, there might be a lot of enemies chasing me, but it's all good, because I'm faster than them, and more courageous, and my, my, twice the warrior they ever could imagine themselves as. Ho oh, ho! Oh, my agile, just like a fox. Oh god, here's the, the boogeyman is after me. But you're undone because I'm like just slightly fat. Oh, I'm not faster than him. I gotta actually sprint a little bit. Ow. Stop attacking me. I don't know where I'm going. There, wait, there's the portal. You thought you could catch me, but once I get into this portal, you'll feel stupid. You'll thought you'd caught me. But now it's too late. And now you'll fight amongst yourselves because you're dumb. And I'm making it into my portal right now. Oh, ho! Idiots! Dummies! Stupids! Now I've made it home! What a bunch of losers! And now I can, like, go to sleep or something. Oh, it's wet. Never mind, we gotta dry off, apparently. Man, our health is getting really huge from all this stuff we're eating. That's pretty good. Overall, we found a bunch of junk, I see. Well, you know what? There we go. Now we can sleep and put this stuff in the junk pile. And then I believe we have done a decent job of revealing everything. Now we'll just have to make the work of um, excavating all the iron. No one better be attacking my home. I will be very displeased. You! How dare you! Think you could just attack my home? 
Okay, yeah, that's right. Walk away. Walk away! Losers. Anyways, let me just dump all of this crap in here. This is the crap box that I will sort later on. Got a lot of entrails there. 23. That ought to keep us going for a little while. Okay, so. Looks like we've successfully scouted. Actually, you know what? Let me just go over it. We should probably mark my camp. That would be a, that would be a good idea. Or the portal. Or the, the ship. We'll call it the ship. Uh-oh, I hear a bunch of sounds. Why are they all still here? Why are there so many of them? You thought you were a match for me! There we go. Good old Ant Gear. Gimme. All of this stuff here, too. I don't know if I want it, but I'm taking it anyways. Okay, so here we are, and now I will mark this location. This is the, uh, the camp. No, no, I want to use a proper icon here. I mean, it's the camp, quote, unquote. It's not really much of a camp. I mean, I guess I could build a treasure chest. No, no one could... Oh, never mind. I can't even build a treasure chest. Doesn't matter. Anyways, we have scouted this area. There's still a little bit left over here. Maybe clean up this area a little bit more. But overall, I think we've done a quite a good job. And that means we have more places to loot and raid, and that makes me happy. Anyways, let me know what you think down in the comment section. Like the video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future Valheim content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.